Welcome back folks, Colin from Commerce Gurus, part 6 to PML Adrenaline Installation and Configuration Guide. So we're on the home straight now, this is the final part in the tutorial. Um, just as we finished abruptly in part 5, my apologies, we were just about to look at the uh, fruits of our labour really now. We've got our language switcher set up and our currency switcher. So you can actually see for the purposes of this demonstration site, if I just briefly switch to Spanish, Apologies to all Spanish native speakers. This is directly lifted translations from Google Translate. Um, you can see now that our uh, homepage has been fully translated into Spanish. Um, we can see that if we also switch currency, so we're defaulting to US dollars. If we switch to euros, see pricing across the board changes so you'll see okay in some cases here we just kept uh, taking liberties with some product names but you'll see here all the strings which are being loaded in from one of our earlier earlier parts in the tutorial these are the strings associated with the theme and WooCommerce itself um, these are elements here associated with the page content um, if I was just to pick a particular product see here at the uh, translated uh, taxonomy values our product categories are kicking in and if we look at uh, you'll see the various values are coming through if I was to pick a particular product so look I think this one, they've actually translated the attributes. Yeah, so you'll again, you'll see the values here have been translated. And you can see attributes here have been translated. Uh, this is actually translated, so the Spanish is the placeholder. So you'll need to go through, this is a time consuming um, operation folks to run a fully translated version uh, of any website, uh, but particularly when it comes to WooCommerce because you're going to need to maintain uh, effectively three versions of each of your products. So it's not for the faint of heart, I mean what you certainly need to do is plan what elements of your site you're going to translate and what, what your fallbacks are. You'll see things like these messages here. These are separate custom post types, which we've not covered in the scope of this tutorial set. Um, but within uh, Adrenaline, we have a number of custom post types, one being testimonials and the other being, uh, let's use the top of the page, would be announcements. And you can see that these are fully translatable as well. Nothing special here. This is very standard. WPML uh, page and post type translations. Um, so that's really it, folks, for this tutorial series. I hope that helps to get you up and running with WPML and Adrenaline. Um, as always, um, if you have any questions or queries on anything to do with Adrenaline, um, please make sure to get in touch with us on support at commercegurus.com or you can reach us via our website www.commercegurus.com or head over to Theme Forest and drop us a comment. And don't be afraid to say hi. Alright folks, talk soon.